my name is Victor G. In today's video, I want to share how I read the Bible. Uh, I want to um, share before I begin this testimony how it all started. Before the Bible, uh, I used to be a DJ, disc jockey, if you don't know what a DJ is. And uh, I used to be a club promoter, bar promoter. My thing was music, rock and roll, and pass me a beer. So that's my background. Okay, so this is why I started reading the Bible. Because there were supernatural things happening around my life. Weird pain. Um, paralysis. A uh, uh, demon just sitting up on my chest, but I didn't know, I didn't know anything about the spirit world. So I asked my friend for advice. He said, uh, "Read your Bible," and I didn't want to. He he wanted me to read a whole book. I don't even know how to read. So, anyways, uh, one day I start reading from the book of Genesis. I had heard about uh, Jesus Christ, but I never paid attention. I didn't really care. And um, I started reading Genesis, Exodus, and so on. I read five, the first five books of the Bible, of the Old Testament, and um, no Jesus Christ. Uh, just simply no Jesus Christ, no healer. No deliver, no uh, forgiveness of my sins, nothing like that. I was just reading about about a lot about death. So after reading five books, starting in Genesis word for word, and uh, I also had to uh, read my Bible and have this guy on the side because there was terminology that uh, that I just uh, did not know of. So I start, um, so I read the first five, five books, a lot of death and a lot of destruction. And uh, I'm all like, well, there's no Jesus uh, in this, uh, uh, in this Old Testament. The, I wanted to, to learn, read about this Jesus Christ. And I, I went on online and I started uh, checking out what people had to say about the Old Testament, what people had to say about the New Testament. And um, I, I made up my mind. I want to read about this Jesus Christ that people talk about, that he heals, that he restores and, uh, and all that good stuff. So just to make it clear, I read five books from the Old Testament and then I jumped over to the New Testament, I opened up the same Bible. Same Bible. I start reading in uh, the book of Matthew automatically. Jesus is casting out demons out of people. He's laying hands on the sick and people recover. Uh, he's, he's handing out authority in his name. He's giving away the Holy Spirit. Luke, uh, uh, a book of Luke chapter 13, I believe. And um, I decided one night in the privacy of my own room to call upon his name. And I was I was a little scared because uh, the times that I had gone to church, it was a lot of singing and a lot of uh, the Old Testament, but nothing, nothing really much. Uh, 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 to do with uh, authority and, and uh, uh, identity in Christ, uh, and casting out demons, uh, nothing like that. So I didn't, I didn't really have anybody to speak to. So I really did have to read the New Testament uh, on my own and carefully. But early, very early in, in reading through the Bible, uh, again, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and on. Early, I summoned Jesus Christ 
And I said in the name of Jesus Christ, shoulders be healed. Boom. Both shoulders. As soon as I spoke the name of Jesus Christ, I felt instant relief on my shoulders. Instant. So I read the whole the whole New Testament ending in uh, Revelation. And uh, I went I went back again to Matthew and I, I read the whole New Testament again. And um, the second time that I read it, more revelation, more understanding. The words were just like popping in my into into my mind, and, and I, I just had Bible verses bouncing in my head, left and right, left and right. Uh, I then then I decided to pray for for my lower back uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, then then um, as I'm reading and understanding and getting revelation. Uh, I asked for the whole, I asked to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I prayed for my knees, my ankles. Then I started praying against the nightmares, against um, uh, uh, that spirit of um, uh, paralysis. And you know what? Every time that I, that I was praying in Jesus' name, things were happening on the spot. So today I leave a. a, a free and clear of pain. Uh, I don't have uh, that paralysis spirit visit me anymore, but I do have uh, witchcraft attacks because I am giving a lot of testimony. I am praying. I have prayed for hundreds and hundreds of people, and, and there's just a lot of testimony coming out of my mouth. And uh, I know that witches and warlocks, I know they're not, they're not having a ball. So I know they're sending little baby demons my way. Uh, no big deal. So after reading the, the Bible a third time, the New Testament a third time, I'm good to go. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, the, I'm a son of the Most High God through Jesus Christ. I speak with authority, casting out demons in Jesus' name. I'm laying hands on the sick and they recover. I did this for, for a couple of years, and then I decided I'm going to read the Old Testament. And I started from uh, Genesis. And and as, I, as soon as I started reading, I'm all like, ooh, eh, there's a lot of death in the Old Testament. The, the God of uh, the Old Testament, man, you know, he'll put some nasty, he'll put some nasty infirmity upon his believers that he took out of Egypt. Uh, what I read is that um, uh, he takes them out of Egypt and then outside of Egypt, he starts putting um, uh, infirmity upon them. Read the, the, uh, uh, the Old um, Testament for yourself. Anyways, going back to uh, 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 the New Testament. No, actually, actually, I read the whole Old Testament word for word. And um, it took me it took me a couple of months to read it. After reading the Old Testament, nothing has changed. I still call upon the name of Jesus Christ. I uh, I'm still walking with the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit and fire living inside of me. Whenever I pray for somebody, whoop, he just. Uh, uh, flows out of this temple upon the believers. Uh, believers, you can do this too. Uh, authority, casting out demons in Jesus' name, laying hands on the sick. Not, after reading the, sec, the, the uh, Old Testament, nothing changed. I'm still good with Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit filled, authority, identity. And um, I would like to advise that um, if you're going to read the Bible, Read the New Testament and um, get filled with the Holy Spirit and lay hands on somebody so that they can get healed. As soon as somebody gets healed, you're going to be like, oh, Jesus is real. The power of the Holy Spirit is real. Uh, after uh, uh, you get filled with the Holy Spirit, then go back and read the Old Testament. And um, uh, well, do that. But I, I want to close with uh, a testimony that a believer 
uh, that a lady friend uh, uh, told me, she went to Bible college. She paid money. And this is what she told me. She told me that they basically focused on the Old Testament, which you can read for free if you buy yourself a Bible, or read it from home. Anyways, she paid money to for somebody to read her the Old Testament. And uh, she told me that in her walk, she never learned about her identity. She never learned about authority in Jesus' name. Uh, I'm not sure if she got filled with the Holy Spirit or not, but um, you know what? If you're gonna pay, if you're gonna pay to go to Bible college, and and you're not walking in your identity, powered by the Holy Spirit with uh, authority, there's a big problem. There's a huge problem. So make an effort, friends, to uh, open up your 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 Bible to the New Testament. Get your have your uh, dictionary handy, and um, I would like to end this video. The only name that we can call upon for the salvation of our souls is the name Jesus Christ. Not God, not Lord. The name Jesus Christ, who died at the cross for the sins of the world, uh, Romans 5.8, and uh, according to Peter, and by his stripes, we are healed. That's the Jesus Christ that I summon. Believers, do likewise. In Jesus' name.